so Pedro and I just uh, arrived. On, yeah. Very on brand, by the way. <laughs> Uh, at Quinn Cottages. I've been here before um, to do a story about yet another exception. Somebody who actually got housing. It's a really uh, good, happy story for her. But driving here, you drive past a few blocks of... The whole street right? was that was filled. Like the, the street was filled. 60 tents? On 100 sides, tents? Yeah. 60 on each side? It's, mm. it's crazy. Um, the amount of homelessness that you see and there's so many millions of dollars that are coming to the city to the county and you know services and hopefully it's not all going to administrative costs and but rather to actual services for people but we don't have safe injection sites you don't even have them in San Francisco yet not to mention Sacramento uh, and and as much as there's all these services that are or will be available there's no new affordable housing being built. I mean, they're gonna take, I don't know, five, seven years. So it's, it's really tragic to see the amount of people who on any given day are unsheltered. And Sacramento has, according to the last point in time count, 2,000 unsheltered people. Those people are five times more likely than I am or he is. I think you're not homeless, right? <laughs> no. um, to die and so yeah it's it's kind of like oh good we're gonna go talk to somebody who has a home now um, but this is the second time that I do this story and they're all in the same place it's always Queen Cottages which makes me feel and think that maybe this is the only place except for a few SROs anyway we're going inside I'll fix my face and be happy for her